Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, our weather pattern is about to dramatically change in more than one time. And more just one area. It's not just going to be the temperatures, also going to be in our atmosphere. Right now, everything's nice and quiet. Everybody's enjoying their times. We're about to have some storms come in, bring in a lot of heavy rainfall. Plus, our temperatures are about to freeze and then go dramatically back to warm for a very long time. Plus, the threat in the Caribbean is trending, and it is almost the last one we're going to have for the rest of this hurricane season. And it all starts from our west coast. You can see your update on your jet stream on the west coast that is showing all these big high ridges and lows. It's actually going to a deep trough, guys, all the way into the 20s of November and potentially still staying that way all the way until December. Now, these spikes you see right here, this is just a polar jet getting in. There's some, some storms coming in from the northwest. We got one coming around the 12th and one coming around the 16th and 17th. But with the subtropical jet, this is continually dropping all the way down the west coast. Now, you can see this from your 200 millibar winds that you have. Big old storm coming in on the 12th, breaking a jet stream. He's still on that subtropical jet down here, and that's going to stay that pattern for the rest of the month. And then right around the 16th and 17th, we get another storm system coming in. But you can see it still stays on that downslope towards the eastern Pacific, towards the west coast, towards our jet stream for the rest of this month. Now, this is a Euro. It can only go towards the 17th. And you can see the same shot on GFS and keep on going. Big deep trough coming for the rest of this month. This is going to be in a, an extreme pattern. This pattern is going to stay for a very long time. And it's going to bring a lot of warm above average temperatures, but a lot of storms as well on both sides of the country. Now, you still have your cold temperatures coming in all weekend long, even with your wind chills, it's going to be really cold. But after this weekend, we're still going back on that warm up right afterwards. And you're still going to be in above average temperature pattern right after that. And it is going to last all the way to the 18th and shift towards the northeast as we go into the lower 20s. Then we have another storm system coming in from the west coast. At the same time, when you look at all of North America, we have a lot of above average temperatures moving through, a lot of storms coming through the south. It is going to bring some cooler temperatures as well. But look way up here where we normally get all this Arctic air, this polar air, they all going to be above average temperatures as well as we go through November. And it's going to stretch all the way down into the U.S covering a lot of North America above average temperatures coming in this pattern and then breaking around the 20s still have some cold temperatures coming in but not going far across the country but what you don't see is the pattern that sets up so when you look at your vorticity you see you have these storms coming for this weekend this is going to help with some rainfall in the south central then we have that first storm system coming in around the 12th right on the northwest at the same time, the polar jet's going to kick up a nice storm across the south, and this is bringing the storms towards Louisiana and Mississippi. A lot of heavy rainfall coming after this weekend. That's when y'all going to get y'alls. But then that's going to come down all the rest of this month, bringing troughs, bringing high winds, bringing storms all for November. And then that's going to come in as well, and we're going to be in the same scenario it's going to be a high jet stream. We're going to be another storm coming down towards the south. Plus, what's trying to form over here in the Caribbean. Now, you can see the same shot with GFS. Only difference is it takes that storm a little bit deeper of a trough all the way into the Gulf of Mexico. And it brings that storm a lot more powerful in the Caribbean, forming up potentially a hurricane as it goes across Jamaica towards the Bahamas, out through the Atlantic, getting pushed by a cold front that we're going to get later on. But at the same time, look at these storms that you're getting right along the West Coast. As you go from the 15th on, all them storms are going to keep on hitting the West Coast. You also have a chance for high winds as well as you get all these storms that's about to come this way. Still showing with GFS that it is going to continually build and then be something very strong as it goes out in the Caribbean and into the Atlantic. And it's not so crazy of an ocean no more because now the Canadians are starting to pick up on that as well and strengthening. The euro is still stuck on this. It's going to strengthen as it pulls away. The only one that's a little different. But at the same time, it's going to bring a lot of heavy rainfall. The big old pattern bring a lot of heavy rainfall towards the south. All this in the Caribbean is going to build up towards Central America. And you're going to keep getting these storms coming along the west coast all the way into the low 20s. Look how that keeps adding up. Then you get that storm system 
for next week, bringing all the heavier rainfall towards the south. That is going to continually build up for Central America, and then it's going to go all the way down the west coast, even into northwestern Mexico and the Baja. A lot of rainfall coming all along the west coast as well. And these storms are going to build. We're going to have multiple storms building all the way from the south, all the way towards the Great Lakes as we go into the high teens and the 20s as well. It's going to be multiple storms. And it's bringing a lot of rainfall. Just till Sunday, we have a lot of rainfall coming towards the south. It's going to start adding up for Nicaragua already. And it's going to start coming down the west coast. And all this is going to happen as we go past this weekend into next weekend all at one time. It's all just going to transition over, bring heavy rainfall down the west coast, bring heavy rainfall across the south, and bring heavy rainfall in the Caribbean for Nicaragua, Honduras, maybe even Jamaica. Now you can see this from Weather Prediction Center just for the next seven days, all that heavy rainfall coming all down the west coast, plus all the heavy rainfall that's coming for Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, even Alabama and Georgia. It has grown for the south. And you can see the amounts down here. All that blue is at least an inch. But once you get towards that purple, you're going towards two inches and three inches for Texas and four to five inches for southern Texas. At the same time, bringing one to two inches, maybe even some spots three inches all along the west coast. So there are some warnings out. Risk for heavy precipitation from the 16th to the 17th for California. And your moderate level, the heaviest chance for precipitation is in this dark green on the 16th when that storm system comes in. That's going to be the second storm system. The first one's on the 12th. Plus, from the south towards the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, from the 17th through the 19th, a lot of heavy rainfall coming from those two storm systems coming your way as well. But this is still bringing high winds along the west coast on this transition. A risk of a high winds, a slight risk from the 16th through the 18th in this brown. This is from the high 40s to the low 50s, maybe even a chance for high 50s. And they still have nothing out for the next seven days for the tropical Atlantic. But Global Tropics still predict that it will be a greater than a 20% chance, less than a 40% chance of some tropical development to grow in all this red and white striped area during the 15th through the 21st. Then we're still going to mile down after that and be done with our hurricane season. Now you see the latest information from GFS showing that storm forming from the 15th through the 17th and 18th. Also a little bit weaker. It's been trending a little bit weaker of a storm will come maybe around the early 20s doing the exact same thing. And you can also see that shot here from the Euro. So you have that system that's going to be forming soon. Then you have a weaker one doing the exact same thing. Then it's going to be even weaker for December. Just be done with our hurricane season. Now remember, as we go towards April, May, June, and July, we're going to start transitioning into a different weather pattern. We're going to go towards that neutral phase instead of the El Nino. And maybe slowly going towards La Nina towards next hurricane season still. Thank you very much for your time. I hope this helps you understand what is coming because it is going to be some crazy patterns we're about to go into. It's about to come on in and then flip-flop for a very long time with some above average temperatures. So I hope you have a very great day today. Never been here before. Make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. It is free to do. But before you go, Psalm 37, 3 through 7. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Amen. Thank you again for your time, everybody. You know I appreciate every single one of you. I will keep you updated on what's going on in this pattern. So far, this is still it. I still see those temperatures coming in for this weekend. So if you've never seen that, make sure you click on the video in the corner. Because that is what I did yesterday. And those temperatures are coming starting tonight and tomorrow. So make sure you're ready for that. Then the big warm-up. So remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I hope he always gives you the best day possible, you and your family, and forever. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day. Everybody.